Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla FSD 10.69 update rolls out with $15,000 price hike. Tesla Autopilot prevents around 40 crashes per day caused by SUA. Tesla Autopilot now enables the car to perceive space around it. And, Giga Texas installs and begins testing 4th Giga Press. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla's full self-driving software, which currently costs $12,000, will get a $3,000 price hike to $15,000 on September 5th in North America, coinciding with the wide release of the 10.69.2 beta update. The early release version has just started rolling out to beta testers, and results are coming in to give us a sense of whether this update is worth the price increase. The new update started rolling out to about 1,000 testers this weekend, and patch notes have been posted online. The notes look similar to the leaked 10.13 release notes we saw last month, with improvements to left turns, animal and pedestrian detection, and better creep behavior. It has been called a major code change and a big step forward by Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who announced the price increase recently. Given this apparent increase in abilities, Tesla has decided it's time to increase prices again on the software. Prices will go up to $15,000 on September 5th, though the old price of $12,000 will be honored for orders made before but delivered after September 5th. This price hike will only happen in North America, and other regions are safe with the old price for now, because those regions tend to get autopilot updates later than North America. We don't know yet if there will be any change to Tesla's FSD subscription service. That service currently costs $199 per month, and didn't go up in price the last time Tesla hiked FSD prices. But if you want to subscribe with a car bought between late 2016 and mid-2019, Tesla will charge you $1,000 for hardware you already bought. Tesla has steadily increased the price of its FSD software since it first debuted, the public rationale is that, as the software becomes more capable it also becomes more valuable, and therefore the price should go up. But it also works as an incentive to have Tesla owners purchase the software early in order to lock in lower prices. Each time Tesla raises the price, some current owners decide to buy the software, not wanting to be left out of the eventual upgrades. This sense of urgency is contributed to by Musk's public statements about Autopilot, who has suggested that Tesla would have self-driving robo-taxis on the road by next year, for several years running. Moving to the next update, Tesla Autopilot prevents around 40 crashes per day caused by SUA. Tesla Autopilot prevents around 40 crashes per day that would have been caused by sudden unintended acceleration SUA. This news comes from Tesla's Autopilot software director, Ashoka Luswami, who shared this news during his workshop at the Conference on Computer Vision and Pattern Recognition CVPR in New Orleans earlier this summer. He later published the workshop on YouTube and shared it on Twitter. In the video, Ashok goes over how Autopilot is able to avoid collisions and highlighted some of the safety features that Autopilot has. Here, I'm showing a particular mode of failure of humans where they accidentally press the accelerator pedal instead of the brake pedal. For example, these people are pressing the accelerator pedal thinking that they're pressing the brake pedal. But the car realizes that they are doing this and are heading towards a collision and automatically cuts out the acceleration and presses the brake to prevent the humans from colliding, he said. Ashok explained that this particular driver would have launched their car into a river if it wasn't for autopilot saving them. He shared another video of where a person was trying to park, but they pressed the accelerator instead of the brake. Tesla Autopilot prevented them from crashing into the storefront and the pedestrian that was going inside. Although Autopilot saves many humans, Ashok emphasized that more collisions remain to be prevented. He shared instances where drivers would misapply the pedals and would be saved by Autopilot. In one video, the driver's decision to switch gears and reverse at full speed caused them to hit the garage. While that's incredibly sad, I'm glad no one was harmed in this accident, but it's kind of senseless to collide when we have a great system that can detect general obstacles, he said. 
Ashok also pointed out the three things a self-driving car needs to be useful, which includes safe, comfortable, and reasonably fast. Moving to the next update, Tesla Autopilot now enables the car to perceive space around it. Tesla Autopilot is now enabling the car to perceive the space around it, thanks to the development of its occupancy networks. Tesla's Autopilot software director, Ashok Alaswamy, shared a detailed thread on Twitter about a recent workshop the Autopilot team held. In the video and Twitter thread, Ashok explained how Tesla developed occupancy networks to literally give the car a sense of its surroundings. Humans have the ability to understand the objects around them at any given time. Is that car down the road moving at a slow speed or a fast speed? Do I, a pedestrian, have enough time to get across the street before being hit? What is that in the middle of the road? What is that falling from the sky? I should move out the way. These reactions to scenarios and split-second decisions come naturally to humans. Tesla's autopilot team is working to program the vehicles to do the same thing, and this will save lives. Imagine the car being able to correctly detect its surroundings while the driver isn't even paying attention. An example is sudden unintended accelerations SUA, which we discussed earlier. Ashok explained that the team developed occupancy networks which enable the car to predict the volumetric occupancy of everything around it. Ashok explained that the typical approaches such as image space segmentation of free space or pixel-wise depth have many issues. The solution to those issues is occupancy networks. In other words, occupancy networks enable the car to perceive the space around it and determine whether or not it can drive in that space. For example, if a UFO were to suddenly crash in front of you while you're driving, you would react quickly in the safest way possible. This is what the autopilot team is training the software to do. Ashok shared details of how occupancy networks used neural radiance fields NERFs. The occupancy representation of these networks allows for differentiable rendering of images. However, unlike typical NERFs, which are per scene, these occupancy nets generalize across scenes, he said. We are a little over a month before Tesla's AI day, and we are sure Tesla will share more about the life-saving technology it is working on, as well as the Optimus bot. Moving to the last update, Giga Texas installs and begins testing fourth GigaPress. Tesla Giga Texas has installed and started testing the fourth GigaPress for the production of Model Y SUV. This will greatly expand the factory's production capacity and help achieve its goals. The expansion of production volumes is key to the development of Tesla. The company has four car factories around the world, two of which are new and are just ramping up production after starting operations about five months ago. The new factories have been built on the lessons learned at the Fremont factory and Giga Shanghai and are very efficient. In an effort to optimize production as much as possible, Tesla, in cooperation with partner companies, has developed robotic equipment and machines. The GigaPress is one such machine. Its goal is to reduce build time, operation costs, costs of manufacturing, factory footprint, factory operating costs, tooling costs, and quantity of equipment. This in turn also reduced the number of machines needed to make a car frame, and the company can build the complete frame itself. Today, GigaPress is used only for the production of body parts for Model Y, which is the most popular model of the manufacturer. At Giga Texas, Tesla makes front and rear single-piece casts, which also makes it possible to install a structural battery pack with 4680 battery cells. Until recently, only three GigaPresses were known, but a recent drone flyby by Joe Tetmeyer at Giga Texas showed an update. According to the observation, Tesla has already installed the fourth GigaPress and has even begun testing it. This week, Giga Texas celebrated its first significant milestone, reaching a production capacity of 1,000 Model YS per week. This was made possible by three GigaPresses, which means adding a fourth will expand production and make it possible to reach the target of 5,000 units per week by the end of 2022 or beginning of 2023. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.